we I want to introduce a group which is really rarely talked in homeopathy and a group of which we have a lot of new information and this it's a small group of the ancient plants they resided in the very long past and many of them has got got extinct but few of them like the ephedras which one of them we use in homeopathy but now we have a few others the ephedras the velvicia which uh, a beautiful proving was done by Margic Servald, and the Gnetum, which we proved. It's a very interesting group that really doesn't look like they're connected in any way, only uh, chemical analysis and genetic analysis show that they are uh, related. It's a, it's a separate filum in the gymnosperms. They all have seeds, but exposed seeds. Some of them look like still retain a conifer or a cone shape in the flower and in the fruit in the beginning. And some of them has a fleshy fruit, which it doesn't allow you to recognize that they are actually gymnosperms. They are, um, in all of them, we have new interesting themes which relate to column five, which is uh, the time of the fifth day of creation where the, I would say, the emotional and sensational uh, spirit is being born. That's where the time, that's the time where earth prepare the, um, the emotional and uh, desire uh, aspect of, of, of humanity in herself. And we will see uh, um, plants that still keep the knowledge of the past, still not really separate between them and the, and the, and the tribe in a, in a bit before individuation time, something retaining relationship to, to Eden or to the past, it is a different awareness of our time. And when a patient needs it, oftentimes we just don't know to give the remedy because we don't know this group. And some, and some people know it. They still, they will, and, and so just like, the conifers later, they will have maybe high no awareness, but it's not related to our time. It's more related to the tribe, to connection to the family. And they have a specific split and duality, which we will later see in the flowering plants. But here it will be related to desires, to wanting, to first ability to say, I want. That's a new ability. To a division between what's inside and what's outside, which actually create a feeling of being rejected, not belonging. There is a split between up, which now is perceived as pure for the first time, and down, which is now perceived as dirty. And there is a beautiful picture behind me of uh, a woman who take a photographer who who print a combination of humans and plants, and she allowed me to use it. And I think of of uh, it's an ancient Velvetia and and a woman and, and a naked woman, and that's part of what we will see here. What happened when you're ex excluded from Eden? Excluded from, I would say, um, naivete. When your naivete is injured. So the, those remedies will have deep relationship to sexual abuse, to sexuality. There will be 
some drug qualities and confusion and a general animal like qualities which are in split with the higher qualities of their awareness the fifth day all this and uh, with lower lower body pathology will be seen in those remedies so uh, the the ephedras the 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 velvicia the gnetum and a general uh, and in the end the general discussion of uh, sexuality in in remedies that's what we are uh, to what we are to expect in the next three meetings thank you very much <laughs>